Alright, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the, the brakes back on. So once you get everything kind of wiped off to your desire, how clean you want it to be, you know, whether you want it to be like spick and frickin' span or just uh, looking tidy. I don't know, I like things to be pretty clean. I mean, it's only a certain extent you can really go with these without completely taking them apart. But I've already done that, so. So what we're gonna do here is these go underneath the chair. Here. They go underneath the chair like this, and they scissor out. But I really like these because then you don't gotta worry about jamming your knuckles on anything. So we slide these onto here, and we put these up on here. We just gotta get these couple bolts here tight a little bit. It's just enough to where it won't fall off. Alright, okay, so it's not gonna fall off and it's on there to where it'll slide a little bit. So now, how do we adjust it? is you ask. Well first you figure out what angle you want it to be at. So do you want it to be out here? Do you want it to be in here further? I like mine preferably to be inside a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is I gotta make sure this is where I want it to be with, with this setup here. I like it to hit the middle of this break here, and I like the break to be kind of level. So I'll set it up just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tighten this. Pretty much as much as I can until it gets snug. That's snug. What I want to do is I want to say, okay, so this brake here needs to be pushed into the wheel to where it depresses in about a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, undo this, and slide my whole mechanism back. that sixteenth to eighth of an inch. So now when this is in here and it's going to lock, when I push in on this lock, this it should be pushing into the tire. Just need to keep going back, checking it. And you also have to make sure your tires are properly inflated as well when you're doing this, or else you're, uh, it won't be accurate to how much it's actually pushing in on the tire. Okay, so now I have it the way that I like it right here. I'm going to tighten up my bolts. See how I have this to where the bracket is tucked back just a little bit. This is level. And also... It's basically as close, as far, far back as this can go without interfering with anything. If someone wants to help me by grabbing onto the chair or you know, whatever they want to do, you know, to help me out of a situation and everything's out of the way, nice and tucked back. It doesn't have to work. It's not going to be in my way while I'm pushing. The, it locks back without touch, interfering with anything else. That's where I want to put it, right there. So, now let's get that tightened up.
And again, I use the uh, 11 millimeter instead of the 7 sixteenths. That ain't going nowhere. And then this, I'm gonna see if I can't snug this up just a little bit. Seems like it's wandering a little. So that's on there. And I'm going to go through the same process. Scooting that as far back as it can go. Figuring out which angles we want. How far we want that tucked back. down a little bit better. Once we have that set, we'll let that loose and bring this back a little bit. up and test it. It's pretty tight. I'm liking that. I'm just going to go a skosh further.
reason why you're seeing this is because as I tighten one, the other one loosens up a little bit, and I get the other one tighter, and then the next, the other one loosens up a little bit. So it's kind of a give and take until both of them are really nice and tight, like they are right now. I'm gonna go over here, double check these. Make sure these are both nice and snug. So is that one. Alright, so, um, yeah. Just gotta put the cushion back on it. But first, I gotta put my cover back on my cushion. Because I took it off and put it in the washer. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is what the inside of a Rojo cushion looks like. It has the air bladders that you sit on. Yeah. And this is the Hybrid Elite cushion. So if you wanted to go check that out or look it up. But um, yeah. It's all clean. As the uh, disassembly and reassembly of a uh, colors spaz wheelchair. <laughs>